Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband with the Between Empires mod. Last time around we defeated most, if not all, Belgian armies. What remains now is to siege their cities and castles. And that is exactly what we're going to do today. I am gonna call the army together because we need those extra troops, that extra manpower, to actually be able to siege the enemy out. And then we're gonna go for uh, the first enemy town on the list, or enemy kind of... I'm not entirely sure if it, it is towns. It's... Uh, castles. But it's... Um, it's Charlois that we're gonna go ahead and attack. So currently we're at Riems. We're gonna attack Charlois. And let's call the army together. David Livingston. I require your assistance for this. As Marshal, I wish to send a message to all the vassals of the realm. Today, I want to start a new campaign. Let's assemble the army right here. Yes, my lord. We must gather all our forces before we march upon the enemy. Within the span of two days, we have uh, been able to assemble four divisions. And with these commanders... This looks just like me. Um, with these commanders, we're gonna go attack Charlois. Forward, gentlemen. Let's waste, um... Oh, the king! I've been looking to cut that bastard down. Detour! The army! Follow me! There is... Oh, he's attacking the peasants! You received message from your Secretary of State that Queen Victoria of the British Empire seeks to form an alliance with our nation. With an alliance would be certainly useful, and put, uh, but it also put new obligations onto our shoulders. An uh, alliance with the British Empire is exactly what I'd plan, you buffoon. Uh, we, will accept, we will accept the proposal. Tell the Queen! Uh, whatever she wants to hear. Again? I don't think I've fought you. Apparently, I did fought you. Uh, my lord. I am going to ask you to surrender or die. I have 500 troops compared to his uh, 96. He's got no chance whatsoever. Oh, and we're in a village as well. This is going to be a mess. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and see, where is my... Is this the artillery? No, this is the artillery. Right, artillery organized over here. Everyone else can kind of, um... Oh, everyone else can kind of attack. That's a lot of cannons we've got today. Uh, maybe we should try to kind of organize the troops. Okay, the Belgians are kind of all... Advancing on um, what's this? I don't know what you are, but you should stay behind. Okay, I think I've ordered everyone. Did I order the guard? I don't think I did. Right, organize yourselves. The Belgians are setting up on the hill. What is this? This is our. Uh, is this our artillery crew? Well, who are these? Boom! Blast the suckers. I don't know, that might have been... Yeah, that probably was cavalry. Dismounted cavalry. Why did they dismount? These guys dismount... The enemy cavalry dismounted as well. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, the light infantry definitely needs to wheel. To actually be facing the enemy. And then, I think... Is this second line? Yes. But otherwise, it looks fine. 
Uh, what we might want to do is uh, shore up the line with the guards behind the center. And then the howitzers looks fine. Let's go down. Is that... That is not another general, is it? No, it's just a French dragoon. First looked kind of like a woman. Damn, we have a lot of these. Uh, five of them. Blasting away at the Belgians on the hill. One thing I should do, though, is... Uh, it looks kind of nice when it looks like this, but... Um, it's kind of hard to follow what's going on. We can pull this up. And then I got <laughs> sniped. I got sniped. Uh, what, are we retreating? Just because... Oh, yeah, because it's a village. And that's how it works in villages, don't it? I should have stayed way back. Um... So at this, it ended kind of equal, though most of our men were wounded while theirs were killed. Okay. Um, my own casualties uh, were only one man and two wounded. Allied casualties. So we, I sent forward the other... D oh, we lost one of the generals. Oh, well, he's got wounded. Uh, so we sent forward allied troops before we sent our own. Most of his army got cut down. There's no point. Uh, I'll order the troops to without, act without me. Because I'll need to rest. So my casualties, enemy casualties, uh, farm woman. Is it? Th these are the prisoners. We'll take the f farm woman. Oh, rescued prisoners. <gasps> We, we rescued some French farmers. A French little couple. Ha ha. The baguettes. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we could. I guess we'll take these on. I don't know which one you get the most to selling to the slave trader. In turn, we'll sell them to America. So they can... Uh, I don't know what they do in America. Work some toil at some fields, the stupid Belgians. Anyways! What's this? Uh, diplomat sent by Queen Victoria at your location, asking you to support in their war against the Emirate of... Ch of course! They're going to... We, we signed an alliance not one day ago. She, she probably sent the message even before we accepted. And then just told whatever guy to scrap it if it, we didn't agree. But yeah, it's somewhere in nowhere, so why not? French Empire has... And everyone, all my generals were really happy about that. They all hate whatever emirate that is. Great. But we need to go to Charlois. Um... <laughs> hmm. Uh, I'm going to accept. Uh, current winner. What? They want me to pay. Um, oh, the Ottoman Empire is part of this? They're part of the war? Fine, then we, there will be no discussions. Stop negotiations. There will be no discussions whatsoever. Another Belgian general. I want to make sure that I put myself in between Charlois and that bastard, so that we... Oh, more a ball... Damn. Uh, someone really needs to go ahead and just uh, abolish all the slaves. It's full conflict. Uh, Kingdom of Portugal. Okay, Spain and Portugal might declare war on each other. I don't care because I'm gonna lay siege! I'm gonna besiege this castle! And we're gonna attack it. Let's see. Um, deployment plan. All to max. Prepare ladders to attack the walls. It will take us two hours. Because Rudyard Kipling is with us. And he's an engineer with the skill of ten. Great. I'd say we're about ready to attack uh, Charlois. I'll lead my soldiers in the assault. 
Right, so as you guys might have noticed, it actually crashed, and that's because, it, well, it's a known bug that big, um, let's see, let's start off the Howard search, shall we? Um, it's a known bug that um, the big sieges crashes, and so that's what happened. I've reduced it now to the point where I kind of tested it out, see how many troops I could actually field. Uh, so I sent the entire army away, except for one other friendly army. But that still crashed it, so now only my army is attacking. With that said, let's go ahead and advance the troops. And see if I cannot take this fort on my own. Everyone fired well. Also note that my companions actually automatically get put as commanders of the different units. And as I actually said, we should put the uh, all of this on. We actually knows know what's going on. So we are hitting some troops. Two of our howitzers. I think the best idea is to actually move my troops kind of as far forward as possible and kind of away from the howitzers. So that fire by enemy uh, sort of enemy rifle fire is not going to interfere or sort of hit my artillery right now I'm wondering if they are firing I'm gonna give them a new position up here on the hill. I was gonna go ahead and ride around. See if these guys will fire. Would be very nice to have those guns firing right now. Uh, we have lost a lot, so at this rate, we will not be able to take the uh, the fort. We see if we can kind of move the troops quicker towards the enemy here. See if we can actually approach this. It's kind of hard if you cannot if if your troops if you cannot have kind of the same amount of troops as the enemy when you're attacking the castle now. I believe it was actually one of the mod creators that uh, actually uh, posted on my video that there they had a little bit of a solution, which I'm which I have tried out. I think I uh, set it up correctly, but I'm not entirely sure. Thing is, you can uh, command even after you're dead, so why should I not try to upset the uh, the Belgian defense? Oh yeah, I uh, forgot to tell you. I managed to buy a Lamat revolver. I think it actually was uh, the Lamat was actually uh, what's it called? Designed by a Belgian. I did more than more in that attack um, than my army did um, so far. But I definitely uh, reduced the amount of uh, 
the amount of troops the enemy have. Might be easier now to advance. We're gonna advance Fist Company first. A light company is gonna move up. Second company has been able to move up pretty easily. And then with everyone moving, the Grenadiers should move up. Did they just blew up, kill off my howitzers? My howitzers seemingly aren't doing that much. I think these guys are about to fire though. Yes. Come on. Where are you actually firing? I don't know where that landed. Oh, there it go. Okay, we're gonna have to do another one of our own charges. So we're actually, uh, some uh, grenadiers are firing good. Let's see, what is the... Uh, the enemy is about twice as many as us. Bastards are retreating. Why? Is this a ghost man? Oh, shit. And this... There seems to be more though. There should be about... A hundred of them. Damn. I wonder, do we dare, or can we, push forward just below where the, um, where the trenches are? I'm just gonna go ahead. Why aren't you firing? Get firing. Let's see if we can charge the men forward. Starting off with first company. Then with the Grenadiers. With the Light Company. And then Second Company. The rain has stopped. Damn. Another hit over there. So we're down to... 39 ready against 86. Certainly not going well right now. Run away, you stupid Belgians. Is this how it's going to be? Oh no! Imagine that. People are talking about, oh, the Emperor running around town shooting his revolver. How about the Emperor? Running through a trench line, going all John Wick on everyone. All the Emperor needed was a pencil. Well, it's, in this case, I used a sword. The, <laughs> the siege was uh, entirely... Oh. Kill, steal, what the... Ah, oh, shit, there's another line? No, wait, there's two other lines. Do I even have any troops left? Oh, shit, my own howitzer is about to blow me up. You better not be shooting at me. You think you can hide? Okay, so it kind of looks like I've cleared out the first trench line all on my own. And I reduced the numbers by about 30 men to 56. 
So it's 30 against 50. Question is, let's go over to this screen. Uh, plenty of ammo for everyone. I wonder though if our howitzers are out of ammo. I think this indicates ammo, does it? I'm just going to move back to take a look at what's going on with our howitzers. No, oh, they're still firing. Um, what I think we need to do though is move them more forward. Um, find a better spot over here, kind of. And then whatever these guys are actually shooting at. Oh, there's a single soldier right over there. And then we've got a trench line here. That we need to assault. They put a cart here. And then final trench line all the way over here. Good thing is though. Most of the enemy guns are silenced at this point. If I'm able to just kind of remove this guy so that my, um, damn it, I've got so few troops. What is the Emperor doing? Oh, what the crap? What did he go from? It's raining again. My artillery has been very unsuccessful in trying to hit the enemy. So, we're gonna have to go without blowing them up. So, um, here goes nothing. We're gonna move the light infantry forward first. We're gonna move all the line companies up there and I'm gonna fire. And I'm going to, uh, let's see, first company will follow me. Did I tell you guys? I guess that doesn't work, it doesn't work that way. I was hoping they'd follow me. It's actually going well, I shouldn't jinx it. My companies are cutting down the enemy. Let's play this safe. Okay. You better not turn towards me. My soldiers are actually, uh, we're actually kind of doing it. Oh, first company did kind of follow me. I think I'm kinda hidden over here. First company. Second company. Grenadiers. Light company. I, oh, we have, we're out of artillery shots at this point. I'm reloading. And we've definitely, we lost only three in the advance. While the enemy definitely lost a lot more. We could possibly do this. And oh, now I'm starting to lose people. Well, if the Belgians are content with shooting at my troops, I might just be able to make it across and once more kind of cut through their lines and by the skin of our teeth we might be able to win. We're down to 15 men. Maybe I should have done better placement behind cover for my troops. I have made it to the Belgian trench. I'm going down the first line. Oh no! The bastard actually stabbed me! 
I didn't see that coming. Right. Um, well, there's no way we're going to be able to win with what we have left there, controlling it like this. So, uh, we're going to have to fall back, unfortunately. Yes. Um, in total, a lot 109 men, uh, 27 killed, 79 wounded, 3 routed. The enemy lost 118, where of 112 killed. I'm gonna have to abandon siege. I still have. So the garrison is now down to 53 men. I have 83 men, however, only 5 men are ready for active service. We're gonna have to fall back and regroup. On our way back to recover, I was attacked by suburban outlaws. I have six troops against their twelve. Let's start the battle. Right, and all it, all of what I have. It's uh, howitzers. And one light infantry soldier. Okay, so with light infantry needs to be sent forward a lot far forward. Because if the howitzers... Um, get hit so much as a, just a little bit they're going to um, going to round I'm gonna put him in that bush okay so uh, suburban bandits we're firing howitzers at them yeah sit behind the bush that's good okay so we have our plan we have our strategy. Right. Suburban bandits are. Um, wait, are they all armed with. Oh, they are armed with pistols. I wasn't sure. There's some gangs of New York stuff going on. Just that we're firing bloody howitzers at them. Well, you better not be shooting at me, sonny boy. Don't touch my cannon. Was that flintlock pistol he had? He actually shot my horse. Um, that. Ooh! The artillery kind of point blank almost shot me. Okay, I got the guy. Um, we made it! We were hit hard during that siege. We certainly lost a lot of men and then on the way back we were attacked by the bloody gangs of New York. Trying to uh, cut us down. There was also, in fact, a Belgian army chasing us, but I was able to get away, and we're back at Riem. Uh, I have reorganized the troops. I went, uh, after I kind of rested up at Riem, I went back to Paris. I got extra troops, so we're now ready, unless there's a Belgian army coming in to reinforce the town. We should now be outnumbering them, so it should be a lot easier to take them out. Not only that, I'll, since a lot of troops gained experience from that battle, most of my army now consists entirely of grenadiers. So we'll have one grenadier line pushing straight up onto the enemy. And hopefully, that should work out just fine. So, uh... Let's uh, break camp and attack the enemy once more. We should be able to attack and take this town. Uh, most of the troops are grenadiers. First company, uh, second company, uh, light infantry. We'll send the light infantry over here. 
as most of first company. First company wasn't that big. Uh, howitzers. That's actually good that you guys are already kind of moving away. I'm gonna set you up here. Some of our troops are already dead. Let's see. Get running. Let's start by getting everyone running to, at the start here, just so they get into position. So far we have only lost one soldier. Hopefully by having the uh, howitzers kind of up here. Okay. Let's see this shot. If the landing blowing up the enemies in the trench. We actually hit two over here. Go hit right over here. There's, I mean, there's not. N uh, we're getting, yeah, we're getting some good hits there. No one's really dying though, as of yet. Uh, first company should probably be standing over there instead. And second company moving up. Setting up on an angle, moving right into the howitzer rain. The light infantry will advance. And then we're gonna go down. And I'm gonna order the guard infantry to fire at my command. Just so everyone's loaded when I order them to advance. And now I'm gonna order the guards to advance across the field. We're not gonna start running at this distance, we're gonna have to walk. And while they do that, I can move the other companies kind of piece by piece as the grenadiers advance. I want second company. Ooh. Let's wait until the, all the explosions have gone off. Let's move over there. Um, stamina of everyone seems okay right now. Move first company even further forward. Move the lights even further. We're gonna move the grenadiers really close. Keep keep going. Second company. Gonna move up over there. Not that many grenadiers have died in the advance. It's gonna be surprised by that. Okay, now for the final push, I'm gonna tell the grenadiers to run. And then I'm gonna order everyone. Oof. I hope that was not one of our own hits. So the guards. Now opening fire. Shooting down the fenders. Might be hard for them though to uh, kind of dislodge the last bit of resistance. We might have to uh, charge the last instance of it. I don't know how you do charges from uh, the command, the U port. I ordered them to charge. I don't know if they work. Kind of looks like they just two infantrymen move forward. What if I then tell you guys use melee? No, I mean now. <laughs> now we're charging, and we're gonna claim this. I should really. At the same time as we're charging here, I should really be uh, moving up the rest of the uh, the, 
companies. You're supposed to be able to sh fire the shotgun thing out of this revolver as well, as it is a Lamat revolver. Fire! Another good volley. Two enemies shot. How many are left? 24 enemies. Prepare for another volley. Fire! Gonna prepare for yet another volley and then I think we're gonna go ahead and charge. Fire! Okay, that didn't do anything. Guards, use melee. Guards, charge! Or is half the company running the wrong way? Forward, gentlemen! Let's charge! I'm gonna dismount and walk with my troops. Wah! Storm their position! Dead Belgian troops. Stab him! Keep going through. Pull down that flag. We've got them now. It's a little bit of a melee going on there. They actually fought each other quite a bit. These guys are coming back. What are you doing? We are victorious. Uh, we lost 18 men, 23 wounded. The enemy lost 51. Every single one of them killed. I only gained one renown for taking the fort, apparently. Uh, we were able to rescue some troops. Uh, could have been captured... I don't know when. Uh, probably in previous battles by other generals, or uh, some troops we might have been forced to leave behind of the last time we attacked this place. Um, not any great loot, but I don't think we actually put any points in looting any of my troops. Um, okay, so who should get this? I can't see, we got 300 pounds apparently from taking this. Some experience and someone gained who are we going to give this to? So, this guy has got... Uh, Gustav got two towns. He's definitely not going to get it. Castle, castle, two castles. Two castles, one castle and a village. That village should be mine. Castle, 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 castle is town, castle. Let's see if there's someone that doesn't have anything. Uh, here's someone. Um, let's see, this guy in the bottom here, m me, I've got one town. I've only got one town and 47 villages. Definitely I should get it. I don't even know we should have we should give it to someone that is kind of unhappy with us, but I'm thinking um the higher up in the list here uh the better command the gen one of the command general um, so I'm thinking we're gonna give it to, uh, this guy. Renard de saint John, I guess. Uh, a lot of people were unhappy with that. Uh, however, the guy himself... Wait! Someone lost, like, 10 points. Uh... Very, very nice. Maybe I would have been better just to give it to myself. Or maybe they would have been even less happier. Uh, Kung... Kung? Uh, King Leopold. Says that some of the generals... Command the general... Achilles. 
that's one of my guys, isn't it? He's... Oh, I thought it said minus 17. Well, that's okay. So that has now fallen to us. Um, I guess Brussels might have a different uh, place. I'll, I'll try to figure out what kind of battles in, in before next episode. I'll try to figure out which battles I can actually do in terms of siege battles because they seem to crash. So I'll try to figure that out. So we'll have that set. And hopefully in the next episode we can kind of wrap up we kind of wrap up the uh, the Belgian story of this. I'll try to uh, go ahead. It should be uh, pretty easy to actually extend an invitation of alliance with the British now. Uh, anyways, and then once that's done, I'm wondering who we're going to go to next. And I think we're actually going to leave it up to you guys. Who do you think I should go against? Who should we fight next? Um, should I go and advance my holdings against the possible war against the Germans at some point? Uh, by taking a lot of these smaller nations in between. So like the Swiss, the Switzerland, uh, the Swiss, Württemberg, uh, the Netherlands and Hanover I can see kind of there or are we gonna switch switch it up completely maybe invade Italy for some reason or maybe uh, go in the colonies so either the Emirate of Tunisia or maybe the Sultanate of Morocco could be attacked uh, I did not mention Spain because I think we've got pretty good relationship with Spain um, but yeah, that's it for this episode. Is this my army? No, it's not. That's the guy, though. That's the guy that I think I lost so much uh, points with. It kind of just rapidly flew past, so I didn't see all of it. But yes, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.